Are you sleeping? <laughs> Good morning, internet people. Welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. I have my family here with me. Hi, I'm Mister. And we have Little Man. Hi. Hi. Little Man is a little bit sleepy because he was taking a fake nap in the back seat, huh? <laughs> yep. Yeah, fake nap. That's right. Anyways, um, today's adventure is you guys tell the title today. We're going to be exploring Hadrian's Wall. At least I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I always say it wrong for someone in the comment section. So go ahead, let me have it. Um, <laughs> well, it's true. I never pronounce these places right, and if I do, still someone has an opinion. So it's whatever. Hard. Anyways, we're going to be exploring Hadrian's Wall today. Actually, specifically, we're going to be exploring the Birdswald Roman Fort. Is that how you say it? Birdswald. Birdswald. I don't know. Um, Birdswell Roman Fort was one of the m Roman military bases along Hadrian's Wall, which at one time Hadrian's Wall was a border. So Hadrian's Wall basically stretches all the way from Cumbria through Newcastle and Near Northumberland. So it goes over the entire landmass. So it's kind of almost like a draws a line between Scotland and England, although it's not anymore. Anyways, that's basically what it is. And of course it had to be defended. And so along the entire stretch, there are many forts. And so I think we're only going to go to one fort today. We're going to go to a couple other sites if we have time, but we do want to take a little walk along the wall so I'm not sure how much we're actually going to see but anyways um I think it's time to get out of the car and we're gonna go have our little adventure there it is well part of it there's part of it hey there again guys so we're inside right now um as you come inside there is toilets to your right cafe to your right and then to the left is like the little ticket center and then there is a gift shop and kind of a little museum um it's really interactive, great for kids. Little man is having a good time searching all the opening and closing things. Um, quick thing about this place while he plays is what I forgot to tell you. I did ask in the front how you're supposed to pronounce this, and the person who told me lives about a mile from here, and so she says it's um, Bird Oswald, or if you want to say it in Latin, it would have been Vanna, which is what the Romans would have called it. So choose one of the words, but anyways, yeah, if that's wrong, sorry, that's what she said. So the final authority on that. Anyways, um, in here along with the museum, there's also like a little film you can watch about the wall. And there's also a family section up past the gift shop before you go in where there's a bunch of um, like large Legos and things for the kids to play with, which is really fun. So yeah, we're gonna have a look around here and then head outside. Here, the reason they were able to find out the name of it is because there's an altar that says to Silvus, which is the god of hunting. I'm not making this up, it's all right there on the plaque. Um, but it says right here in the bottom, Venice is the name of it. So that's how they knew the Roman name of the location. And there is an altar to Jupiter, which is like Zeus but Roman. And there used to be like a staff coming out of his hand, but clearly it's been lost. Or a lightning bolt, I think, not a staff. And then they have a little collection of urns that they found on site. And they were processed by Newcastle University students, which is really cool. He's never short of friends when he, find, he travels somewhere. As you can see, he likes to play Big Brother and he really loves to teach. I made a little mistake. Sorry about that. Turns out that the wall actually was built by Emperor Adrian, not to keep the English and the Scots, but to keep the Romans' empire separate from the barbarians of the north, which technically, I guess, would have been the Scots, but shh, don't tell him that. There it is. 1,000 people lived and worked here. Give you the book, okay. Here you go. <laughs> Mom, I found something. Mom. You did? Hey guys, I hope you guys can hear me. It's really windy out here. Um, I've just stepped outside of the fort. So the official fort is that section here in front of the house-like structure. And that's where the Roman soldiers would have trained and worked. And then here, 
behind it there's a whole large grassy area that has a bunch of different little like foundations left in it still and this is where the families of the soldiers and the soldiers would have actually lived so that's really interesting um, as you can see little man and mister have already started exploring it so i'm gonna go join them but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys about that it's very squishy here by the way um if you come in the friendly anytime i recommend wellies i know it's real squishy You're on the top of the hill. Yeah, you are. You're not on the hill? I'm on the rock. You're up on the rock, okay. King of the mountain. He's coming down. The end. There's the entire settlement from the back. And while you're looking at it, we're gonna play a game called Find the Little Man. Where is Little Man? Oh, noise he's making it is totally giving it away. What is this? It's a. I don't know. It doesn't say, but it's really fun. Born ready, sir. Let's go. Come on, let's do together. Together, okay. about that my battery has died um so as you guys can see i'm in a new place right now we are at lentercost priory which is pretty close to hadrian's wall it's like new 15 minutes from the location that we were just at um we decided to stop by eventually we we're just gonna go home but it's so close we couldn't not stop by so anyways Len um lentercost priory is as it sounds a priory or like a monastery in american speak those of you guys who are watching and most of you guys from the from the states watch me so lentercost priory is significant because this it was functioning, of course, as a priory for years, also because this is the location where Hedward I was hiding out and resting and then passed away in 1307. So as you can see, the inside is still very well preserved because um, during the Tudor times, the Decker family took over it and then converted it from being a priory into a Tudor mansion. So it still has a lot of the charm, but the history is kind of blended, which is neat. And you found the crazy people. <laughs> Wow, it is really beautiful. It's not a lot to it. Looks like there are some tombs over here. Which I guess the family just left in place. Oh, maybe not. They're a little newer than that because this was 1867. So maybe this is... I don't know. Well, we'll I don't know. Dude, is there something that you want? Yep. There's a stick over there. There's a stick over there. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Nice stick. Can you reach it? Well, I can jump. Mm. All right, go ahead. Just be gentle. Oh, okay. I thought it was a further step than that. Never mind. You got a stick, huh? Going in the house now. 
Uh, the entry to the house, you have to go like through the storage rooms and then around in through here. Oh my goodness. You're looking dangerous, sir. Oh, cool. You can see, I think this is probably the kitchen, yeah. Based on that, I would suggest. I don't know, let's see. Yep. The kitchen and Decker Tower. So, theoretically, I mean, this would have been the kitchen and maybe the family lived above it. I think. I don't know, I'll read the sign in a second. Whoa. I mean, it's a respectable size. I mean, especially if you had something going on in every floor. Yeah, 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 there's a stairwell right there. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm guessing that it's probably stopped up, but there's probably an entry to the stairwell there or somewhere from in here, and then you could go up that way. Just see a little tiny bit of their surviving stairwell. Ah! <laughs> Do I have to stay in here? Yep. Why? <laughs> Why? No, no, don't poke me. Why do I have to stay in here? It's called the jail. It's the jail? Yep. But why do I have to stay in the jail? Because it says, because look, oh there.